first tee, let's say you got a player who's really nervous, final round of club championship, member guest, a major, you're a great coach, what do you say to these people? Well, first of all, everyone has a pre-shot routine that they do. When they get nervous, they multiply the pre-shot routine by five or six. In other words, they, they do things over and over and over again. If your pre-shot routine, then I would say just start from behind the ball. Okay. You're looking at your target line. Okay. You pick out something close to you to aim your club face at. And you come up here and you aim the club face first, then build your stance. The problem most of the time is people build their stance first and then put the club face down. So now you've got yourself on line. Now, if you're one that waggles, make the same amount of waggles you always make, and then your last waggle, just look at the look at your target and hit the shot. What, what I see in club championships and stuff is people, when they have to hit a good shot, they're nervous, so they get out of their routine. And once you get out of your routine, the nervousness is running through your body and you're not going to make a good swing. So the, the beauty of just a routine is to do the same thing every time, especially putting. If you think about it in putting, because most guys, when they play in their groups, never putt three and four footers. Now the women, they play by the rules. They putt out one inches. But the guys, they pick them up all the time. And you can always tell a guy in a member guest or a club championship, he gets up and he's got an important putt, and he, if he's been making one practice swing, he's making four and five and six practice swings, but he's got no chance to make it. One of the things I did in Tiger Woods years in the 10 years I was with him, I would time him and he would take the same amount of time on a putt on the first green as he would on the 72nd hole to win the tournament. The exact same amount of putting strokes, same thing. So if you get in the habit of a pre-shot routine, keep that pre-shot routine. Don't change it up because it's an important shot because it helps get you relaxed. So if you're freaking out, you're saying just freak out, acknowledge you're freaking out, but get into your Take, take a couple deep breaths to try yeah. and get your nervous system down, and then go through the routine you always go through. Don't add anything to it, don't speed it up, don't slow it down, and then give yourself the best chance to hit a shot. If you think about it, the average golfer sees all the trouble out there. Right. The good player doesn't even know there's OB there or there's a lake there. The average golfer, especially in a club championship match, oh my gosh, I can't hit it over here, I can't hit right. it over there. No, bring your targets into small targets. A target that you can really zone in on. Take a set up here. What I want you to do is glance at the ball and look at the target. Stare at the target. Now come back and glance at the ball, stare at the target. Most people stare at the ball and glance at the target. Now your ball locked. Right. So get in the habit of just glancing at the ball and staring at the target. And then go. And then go, then pull yeah. the trigger. Yeah. Don't stand around. Yep, perfect.